So you'd like to buy a cone beam. Congratulations, you know it's time to get more involved in surgical planning and removing third molars and diagnosing things you couldn't diagnose before. But which unit are you going to get? I spoke with Dr. Terry Work about the most important considerations for investing in cone beam technology. So Terry, there's a lot of different cone beams on the market these days, and it's super exciting for dentists to evaluate if they need to bring it into their practice. Why did you choose to invest in this particular unit? Well, I did a lot of research, as most dentists do, and uh, this particular company has great support. It's a great machine. The, the price point was appropriate, and I just knew that by working with them, I'd get a quality product with quality uh, support. Tell me more about the support. So you invest in this technology, you now have this awesome unit in your practice. I mean, there needs to be some training that goes on and... Well, definitely. So I've, I've been in a situation like most dentists where you buy something and then all of a sudden tumbleweed. You can't find anybody to support you and that's really frustrating. With this particular company, we see the rep frequently. He's got great answers. If he doesn't know the answer, he knows someone who does. They come in, the training was was really organized and the support was excellent. Fantastic. So tell me a little bit about some of the features of this, like the field of view. What are some of the more technical features that you enjoyed about? Well, again, this particular unit's great because very user friendly. The field of view is a little bigger than the last one I had, which is nice. Allows us to do a little more TMJ evaluation, which is nice. But as far as user friendliness, it's nice. And um, they come in and they, they train the staff and the staff is really where it's at because you want to keep the number of retakes down so you want to make sure that the support and the training is appropriate so it was great with this now you've been using cone beam prior to using this this, tech, this particular unit yeah right? i've had a cone beam scanner for about the last three and a half four years and uh, this one i beta tested for the last six months and it's it's uh, they've made improvements in almost every area of this unit so i felt very comfortable working with them when you for the first time invested in cone beam what were some of the procedures that you started to do that you maybe were gun shy about doing prior to that? Well, was there anything that really changed? Well, I mean, there weren't huge changes. What it really did was when you go into a procedure with confidence, it cuts down procedure time, patients benefit, they heal faster, there's less pain. You just, there's a myriad of reasons for getting it, and it's one of those things that once you get it, you don't know how you practice without it. And I love technology that makes me a better dentist, and this is definitely one of those things. Dr. Work, so. thanks very much. Okay.